Alright, I'm gonna try to make this one pretty quick so that we can all get out of here. Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-0068- What the f*** is that thing?! Okay, okay, uh, item number SCP-006-J. Object class is a canner- OH GOD, KILL IT! <sighs> okay, I think it's gone. Special Containment Procedures any instances of SCP-006-J that are discovered by Foundation personnel are to be left the f*** alone. Personnel are to contact Mobile Task Force Alpha-21 partners in order to dispose of the instance of SCP-006-J in a humanitarian manner. Recommended actions are throwing the instance out of the window or outside. Disposing of the instance through any plumbing will not be tolerated. It's still a living creature, damn it! Anyway, MTF Alpha 21 is to be provided with 12 glass cups and 20 slips of paper at all times. Examination of any instance of SCP 006J requires steady and careful movements. Any surprise of SCP 006J make a oh shit, it's on your face! <sighs> Description SCP-006-J is a collection of insectoid creatures that researchers agree are scary as balls. We're pretty sure it's mimetic, but we're sure as hell not going near those things. I think I saw a stinger on one. Discovery. I'm just walking through the hallway to my room when I look in the corner and I see SCP-006-J and this thing has these gigantic f***ing eyes just staring at me like, I'm gonna f***ing eat you, and I just get the f*** out of there. Here we have some images of known SCP-006-J instances. SCP-006-J1, every leg wants to destroy you. SCP-006-2, everyone agrees this one's just f***ing disgusting. SCP-006-J3, F***! SCP-006-J-4 Whatever this- Oh god, I can, mm, I can feel it on my neck, I can feel it on my- It's on my neck, it's on my neck! SCP-006-J-5 Successful containment <sighs> Addendum 006-J Guys, it isn't even that big, okay? Look, I'm going up to it and it hasn't attacked me yet. Dr. D Dr. D has been promoted to Site Director from 05 Hang on a second. So I guess they aren't actually that dangerous? Huh. Oh, well then, let me just make a few adjustments here. Alright, here we go. Item number, SCP-006-CUEX. Object class, Lifetime Companion. Special Containment Procedures. All instances of SCP-006-CUEX, except for the ones with spiky parts, those guys are meanies, are to be recovered by Mobile Task Force Phi-24 exoskeleton enthusiasts and carefully brought to any Foundation site so they can be loved properly. It is imperative to Foundation operations to have a high SCP-006-CUEX count in all dormitories, showers, graded drains, mind you. We cannot, I repeat, cannot be washing our most valuable asset down the drain, cafeterias, gyms, and break rooms. We must have a chicken for every pot and a fly for every soup. Anyone caught attempting to brutally murder an instance of SCP-006-CUEX like a cold-blooded son of a bitch is subject to immediate termination. These things are f***ing awesome. Description SCP-006-CUEX is the collective designation for a group of completely resplendent insectoids colloquially referred to as bugs. Except for the spiky ones. We do not talk about those around here. They all are so sweet and have so many wonderful textures. Between the contained instances of SCP-006-CUEX, we found all of the beautiful colors of the double rainbow on their exoskeletons. The feeling I get when an instance of SCP-006-CUEX crawls on my skin makes me so giddy and bubbly that it has to be anomalous. All I want to do is hug them and hug them and never ever let them go. Addendum 006-CUEX-1 As of-
It has been determined that Assistant Entomologist Johnson has been affected by a memetic hazard and is scheduled for immediate termination. SCP-006-CUEX has now been classified as explained, from 051. Addendum 006-CUEX-2 I think he just really, really likes bugs. It's probably not memetic, Obro-1. From Head Entomologist Patrick. Addendum 006-CUEX-3 Head Entomologist Patrick has been slated for immediate termination because he has clearly been affected by a memetic hazard also. No more bugs. We are once again at peace with nature. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, please consider liking and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.